Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. All right, welcome back here to the news at 8 o'clock. What started out as an entry in a competition among colleges could one day become a tool in fighting both homelessness and climate change at once. Yeah, in tonight's STEAM series, KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen shows us how 3D printing could change the future of housing. Step into this 425 square foot home and you'll notice lines on the wall because of the layered approach to construction. Kashani De Silva is the chair of the School of Architecture at Woodbury University. We wanted to celebrate the 3D printing. You heard right, 3D printing. It's the first permitted structure of its kind in the city of Los Angeles. Designed by students at the Burbank campus and constructed out of concrete. Walk along the walls and you'll notice they are curved. It also demonstrates the 3D printing technology, which does not have the capacity to do 90 degree corners. The sloped roofs with solar panels are designed to follow the movement of the sun so that no additional electricity is needed to power the home. Water from the shower is recycled to feed the toilet. This project began as an entry in a national collegiate competition organized by the Department of Energy. The goal is to create designs powered by renewable energy. The students who started the project have graduated, but the CEO and president of Woodbury University says the study of architecture can help to combat climate change. This generation is uniquely passionate about finding solutions to those problems. Our job is to help give them tools to do that. The house needs more funding to be completed. The hope is it can one day serve as an affordable way to address homelessness. The covered porch is intentional. This really offers a, a, a midway point, if you will, a transitional point for them to sort of stay, stay outdoors while getting accustomed to and acclimating to an indoor environment. Whether it's tackling social issues or building a home without corners, the best approach is often well-rounded. In Burbank, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. All right, how cool is this yeah, now? Really the school cool. tells mm -hmm. us it costs about $250,000 to build the 425 square foot home. Now, in comparison, we found a 1,300 square foot home nearby listed for a little over a million dollars. So you can really see the difference, yeah, right? Big difference.